Hey guys, I'm at the Igo Stuff booth here at DesignerCon 2023 with Mr. Dave Igo, Woo! who yeah. we know from his past work at Sideshow and continuing work at Tweeterhead. But this is Igo Stuff, so <laughs> I want Dave to stuff. tell me what the heck is Igo Stuff. It was a temporary name I made for an LLC to work on my own stuff. And then friends were like, nope, you should just lean into it. I was going to make another name. And they're like, no, just own it, lean into it, make it yours. And all right, cool. So I'm just like, I go stuff. That way, if I want to make toys, I make toys. If I want to make cartoons, I make cartoons. It's not a toy company. It's just stuff. That sounds you know? cool. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about what you have here? Yeah. So I, I started a couple years ago. Where I was looking at my toy collection. I'm like, what don't I have I want? And so I love animals, love monsters, love creatures. So I was just looking at my Ninja Turtles, my He-Man, my Street Sharks, and started to like make new characters that I thought could fit in with those collections. Just like the old school, like five and a half inch scale, limited articulation, all swivels, and just started making them. And a couple years later, you know, because busy with a full-time job, so trying to do this in my after hours. Got Shamumu was the first one done at him last year. I got Sting Cobra this year. And I worked on little variants, like little acrylic cutouts of renders because I didn't have time to 3D print them. And then little buddies that they come with too because oh, yeah. all of old toys, could, you know, I love Keshi, I love muscle figures, so I thought little dudes. And sure. trying to get a Kickstarter ready in uh, March or April for these guys. I want to make sure I have everything ready with the factory, quoting, minimum order quantities, all the variant stretch goals. I want to have a toy commercial. So yeah, cool. Mom's stores is that. And then I got. Kaiji June was kind of a happy accident that came up last year because I worked with artist Paul Komoda. He's worked with me on a bunch of stuff at uh, Sideshow and Tweeterhead. He worked on the, the new Gilman for us at Tweeterhead. But nice. I was working with him, and this is actually before the Tweeterhead Gilman. I worked with him on my little, I'm like, Paul, I want a little muscle figure Gilman. <laughs> so he designed and sculpted it for me. This is completely random. He did it. I loved it. And I'm like, all right, Paul, well, now I need a Cthulhu. Of All course, because right. I love my Cthulhu's. Yeah. But I don't like the number two for some dumb reason, so I needed <laughs> a set of three. So I'm like, all right, what's the third one? Let's stick with the aquatic theme. We did a little crab guy. Oh, I so like that. Like, crabs look cool. Yeah, you sure. Know? So then we were talking about Wave 2, what Wave 2 could be. I'm like, you want to continue like expanding past Gilman? Do like a, a wolf man or a vampire monster? He's like, no, this is something different. So we're talking maybe dinosaurs, maybe kaijus. And we're like, how do we make the kaijus look unique? And so he posted a picture of one of his devil man toys. I'm like, that's it, demon kaijus. <laughs> so he, I was teaching Paul ZBrush on these projects, which is digital sculpting. And they're supposed to just be like little mini figures. And when he was working on the sculpts, I'm like, these are too cool. We got to make them bigger. Right. So we print them like kaiju toy size. And then I'm like, well, I don't want just random kaiju sitting on a table. They need a name. So me and my friend, another friend, Shane Hillman, came up with the name Kaiju Doom, the logo. And then last year we just kind of announced it, showed off the toys. Then Acro, a company who's amazing, they do a lot of manufacturing for Sideshow and Mondo and stuff. They saw them and they were like, we want to produce these. So I'm working with Acro. These are actually production samples. Awesome. They specialize in weird spiky, soft vinyl stuff. Like the impossible people who saw these last year, like, how are you going to make these? I'm like, I don't know, it's someone else's problem. <laughs> it became Acro's problem. They figured it out. They're awesome. So these are actually, so from last year when you just had 3D prints and a name. To this year, we have final production samples. Right. They're up for sale on Sideshow. They're now, for the next couple of days, up only on the kaijustore.com. And pre sales are open for another, I think they're going through Monday. Okay. And then after that, we're going to close the pre sales. And if I think sales have done good enough, we're going to do the third one, which is a flying kaiju, because you need a flying kaiju, obviously. We have of course. A giant lizard, a giant turtle, we need a flyer. But, uh, and then I'm working on a hero design, like who would fight these damn things? Right? Right. So I'm actually working with my buddy Juan Gedeon. He's an amazing co comic book artist. And uh, we did a little test piece to see like what this could look like if we want to do a comic book together later. And I told him the setting I want to do for this isn't just, like a lot of kaiju movies are like in Tokyo, in New York City. I'm like, dude, I want like medieval. I want it to be like kaijus, demon kaijus coming out of the ground, busting through castles, fighting knights and stuff. <laughs> So it's like, well, how would they fight these guys? They probably need a guy who's willing to become a demon himself to fight demons. So I'm gonna work on a little hero guy. All right. And then my buddy Mark Newman's like, hey, we should work on some together. So we just came up with a random ass uh, double-headed monster, just merging all the monsters together. So we called it Monster Mash. And Casey Love, who's an amazing painter, he does a lot of stuff for Sideshow. Yep. He saw it at Monster Plus, like, I wanna paint that. I'm like, okay, I guess. You know, <laughs> Casey Love's okay. So I'm gonna Mark Newman, Casey Love, just, awesome thing and then the arms swivel on this 
Wow. Whoop, whoop. And then the waist swivels. And I ran out of time, but we're gonna have the heads, the heads are gonna swivel later. Wow. And we basically just got the paint prototype done for the show. And then we're gonna shop it around, see if someone wants to produce it, if we wanna kickstart it. Right. And then Mark Newman, in the meantime, we're still figuring this out, but he's gonna do 3D print one-offs, like made to order, like smaller scale, where they don't articulate and they're not painted. Okay. Just for some of the collectors that wanna get their hands on one cheaper a little bit sooner. Right. And then after that, my buddy Dan Catcher, who's known as the father of dragons. He designed and sculpted dragons for the first Game of Thrones TV show. Oh, wow. So Drogon and the other two, I always forget their names. But yeah, seasons two through eight, Dan was responsible for the look, design, and sculpt of the dragons. He's like, we should work on some together. And so I'm like, let's do a dino mash. So it's all the dinosaurs mashed together. <laughs> and it's a, it's almost done. We just want to 3D print to have it at the show. But yeah, same thing, like the arms swivel. That's so cool. swivel. And we're, later on, we're gonna get a head swivel and a waist swivel in there too. But we just, I came up with the idea. I'm like, let's merge like a pseudo T-Rex head, stegosaur body, brontosaurus feet, velociraptor claws. He has an ankylosaur arm, like the back shell of ankylosaur is like a shoulder pad, and then the tail is like his fist. He's got a splattered dead pterodactyl on it. You know how like birds fly into windows and <laughs> yep, die? Yep. When those have a pterodactyl, and then it helps <laughs> show the scale. He's got like a triceratops skull shoulder pad. Oh yeah. He's got a woolly mammoth skull belt buckle. He's got like a brontosaurus spinal cord like wrapped down his arm like a chain like Lobo. You know, I thought that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. He's got a Quetz Quetzalcoatl, I think is what it's called, like the giant bird. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the that's like the skull of that is like the spiked club he has. So he's just like a little bit of all of them. And who doesn't like dinosaurs? Then like, yeah. you know, the look channels, kaiju looking stuff. So right. yeah, so the, the Monster Mash line, we're calling this guy Dino Mash. This is like artistic one-off things. Like Kaiju Doom is an IP I'm trying to develop beyond just toys, like hopefully a comic book, hopefully a TV show. Monsters is toys, hopeful tabletop game, doing a Kickstarter for that after the toys. And then hopefully, a car I love cartoons. I want everything to be a cartoon. Right. But I also want excuses to do like random one-off toys. So I'm like, hey, Monster Mash. That could be like a theme that goes on. They kind of work together, but they're individual artists. Too. So just a couple things. Just from just the wacky mind of Dave Igo. Yeah. yeah. Just, Things are in here, I'm like, get out of my head. <laughs> you know? Thanks yeah. a lot, Dave. Really yeah. appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Have a good show. Yeah.